Welcome back Ultima Weapons, it's the Night Sky Prince again. I've probably sank more hours into Final Fantasy XIII than I'm comfortable admitting. In fact, I was so eager to play the game when the Japanese version launched in December 2009, I actually imported the game just to play it a few months early. I was studying Japanese at the time and attempted to use every ounce of Japanese that I knew, along with some great translation guides in an attempt to play the game early. And if you think that's obsessive, I also purchased the copy of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children Complete on Blu-ray, all the way from Japan, and it costs over $100 just to get a demo of the game. And that demo was great, although it did lead me to have some very false expectations of the game, but I'll digress. When Final Fantasy XIII was first released, it was a game met with incredibly mixed receptions. And while the game isn't nearly as bad as some would lead you to believe, I am also hard pressed to say that it didn't deserve many of its criticisms. It was a game that was plagued with so many just stupid design choices that it made it less enjoyable than it easily could have been. A lot of the minor ones could have been fixed easily with a patch, but this is before Square did the whole games as a service thing. When looking back on how fundamentally broken some things are, such as the level design or story execution, that kind of stuff wouldn't be fixable without an entire remake. But if Final Fantasy XIII Remastered was to become a thing, I began to wonder what could we realistically expect from them. There are plenty of things that they could reasonably fix. After all, the majority of the FF series right now is playable on PS4 in some form, with the odd exception of Final Fantasy XIII, which on current gen hardware can only be played on PCs and Xbox Ones through backwards compatibility. But Final Fantasy XIII should receive more than just a high resolution and high frame rate version. When Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age launched, much of my opinion significantly improved about the game. Many of the new features that were added into the game drastically improved its feel overall. The Zodiac job system was not only an epic throwback to older Final Fantasies, but also made each character feel significantly more unique, and added a great deal of replay value to the game previously not found. 2x and 4x speed made the game far less of a grind than it used to be, and fixing Vaughn's abdomen, which was anatomically wrong to say the least, helped make the character a little bit more pleasant on the eyes. In the end, Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age was an infinitely superior version to the original game, and it made me realize why settle for less with Final Fantasy XIII, especially not when so much of this game can be improved so effortlessly on Square's part. Take for example being unable to switch characters mid-battle. Character switching is a problem that was resolved in Final Fantasy XIII too, but honestly it's something that should have been patched at least in the original game. This is probably one of the worst gripes that many people have with the main game's battle system. By not allowing people to switch characters, there was this huge limitation in the amount of strategy you could have in battle. If your party leader died, it was game over, even if you had two other party members alive, with full health. This makes sense in an action game, sure, but it's not like it was impossibly hard to get a party wipe in Final Fantasy XIII either. This made Final Fantasy XIII's boss fights a little bit more frustrating than they needed to be. Sometimes I wanted Saz or Hope to use Haste, but I wanted to play as Lightning or Fang. I say wanted to very loosely, as the game oftentimes tells you who you're going to play as. So if I wanted Haste while playing as one of those characters, I had to paradigm shift and then wait for the AI to tell me when I should have it. By simply allowing character switching, not only would Final Fantasy XIII become more enjoyable, it would also become more strategic. For example, being able to pick from three summons instead of just one that your party leader is stuck with. It'd make you seriously consider which summon you should use at a given point. Or it'd just be really nice to be able to strategize between the various skill sets of each character role. I like that Saz learned haste pretty early on in the game, but honestly, I like my party leader to be lightning. But as I mentioned, I was stuck waiting on his AI to decide when this was appropriate. If I could simply switch over to these characters and select the commands myself, this would also alleviate the criticism that the game quote, plays all by itself thanks to the auto battle feature. The problem becomes worse when oftentimes you're forced to play as characters during various chapters even when you don't want to. This is incredibly annoying, especially if the character I want to play as is in my party. They're literally right there, why can't I play as them? Simply removing the forced party leader stipulation would improve the game a lot on its own. I appreciate that the game is trying to make you learn each of the characters and how to play them optimally. Unfortunately, because the majority of the main story content is like this, not allowing you to choose who you play as for up to 9 out of 13 of the chapters, it ends up coming off as more intrusive than it does engaging. The lack of being able to visit previous areas is one of my biggest criticisms of Final Fantasy XIII. The game is quickly approaching a full decade of existence, and yet I've never heard anyone mention this as a criticism. Final Fantasy XIII had some of the most gorgeous environments of any Final Fantasy game. 
It's only a shame that with the exception of Grand Pulse, after you leave them, you will never see any of them ever again unless you start a new save file. This is one of the greatest disappointments of the entire game for me. These locations were absolutely breathtaking, having one of the most fabulous color palettes I've ever seen used in a game, and they were brought to life by deeply enchanting and atmospheric music. And sadly, it just all ends up serving no purpose at all. Of course, the areas are really empty and there's nothing to go back and see, so if they did allow you to revisit them, they'd have to do one of two things. The first being adding a chapter select option. This would be an extremely ideal feature, just in general for going back and reliving some of the hype moments without having to start the game all over again, or keep thousands of save files just in case. The second one being adding side quests, or even hunts similar to the ones on Pulse. Just instead have them take place on Cocoon when you revisit. Though ideally, both of these would be great. It really is a shame that all these beautiful environments are used for nothing other than to be a hallway to get to the next cutscene. A beautiful hallway with incredible art choices, but nothing other than that. Another highly important feature to add to this game is 2x 4x speed feature. This is something I didn't realize how helpful it could be until I played the Zodiac Age, but this might be much harder to implement with Final Fantasy XIII for technical reasons. Even a dash button though, which could easily be implemented, would be immensely useful. There are dungeons in this game that take far too long to get through, and are overcrowded with enemies that take ages to beat. Being able to blaze through long, boring grinds in a game like Final Fantasy XIII would be absolutely essential for a remaster. There are some times in this game where I just go into a mindless rhythm of just mashing X without any thought, and it has nothing to do with how I feel about battles, it's just I want to get out of the hallway that I'm in. If I could cut through all that and get to the parts of the game that I like, it'd be a significantly more enjoyable experience. Though, speaking of the game's pacing, rebalancing battles would almost certainly make this game feel more fluid. This is another problem that was fixed with the release of Final Fantasy XIII 2 and was one of the major improvements to me personally. This is immediately noticeable to me, and yet very few mention it in discussions about the trilogy. Sometimes, regular encounters will take far too long. Final Fantasy XIII's battles only look fast because they're moving fast. Truth be told, even pure turn-based games like Final Fantasy X had faster battles. Yes, it looks like things are moving fast, but the actual pacing of the battle is really slow. This is because for most enemies, if you're not staggering them, then you're not really doing any damage to them. Sometimes it feels like I'm just stuck in a loop of the staggering process, doing the same things over and over to wear down an HP bar that simply doesn't drain in a reasonable amount of time. Enemies with high defense can take a while to stagger, so you can expect to be in battle for quite some time. By improving the pacing and speed of staggers alone, this would greatly improve the feel and flow of combat, and thus the entire game, since it's the primary way in which you play it. Also, it wouldn't hurt for enemies to drop gil too, that would improve some of the pacing with the late game grinding. And speaking of grinding, there's the Crystarium, which is used to increase the stats of your character in this game. One of the improvements that Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age did to make me really enjoy it was the Zodiac job system. And for those of you wondering, I am aware of the PS2 re-release of Final Fantasy XII that included it, but it was Japan only. But it made me wonder all the improvement they could make to Final Fantasy XIII if they improved the Crystarium. First and foremost, the Crystarium tried to restrict your grinding by always having a fixed point in which you can power up your characters, which was utterly ridiculous. Essentially, there's a level cap that is enforced by the game's chapters. It's absurd to even have something like this, especially when you consider the entire point of needing to increase the amount of experience, or in this case, crystal points, is so that you don't overpower your characters to the point of where the game loses all challenge. But since the amount of crystal points that you need for each node increases as you go along, what's the point of having a forced level cap? It's sort of like having a door with two locks, but both unlock with the same key. It's redundant, it's limiting, and it only serves to give the player less options in a way that doesn't foster engaging experiences. It's not like in Final Fantasy XIII you can go off and do 100 side quests and then return to the main story. In that case, the cap on the Crystarium might actually make sense. In fact, it would have actually helped Final Fantasy XV more in that case. But no. Here, the most you can do is really grind the same hallways over and over just so that you can actually reach that point. Which most players would never even bother to do. In the end, Final Fantasy XIII's detractors will never be fully satisfied with the game. Though for people who had a neutral view on it and are willing to give it a second chance, a proper remaster of this game would greatly improve their favorability of it. For that reason, I feel like it's not a question of if Square Enix should remaster Final Fantasy XIII, and of course its sequels, but Square Enix must 
remaster Final Fantasy 13. And if they make these sorts of tweaks and improvements, that voyage would sell their pulse smoother than ever. It's also worth noting that the game's Japanese release was December 2009, and the game's 10th anniversary is coming up soon. Square Enix is likely to want to celebrate it in some fashion, hopefully with a proper remaster. So Ultima Weapons, do you want a Final Fantasy 13 remaster for PlayStation 4? Or do you think Square Enix should just keep this one to themselves? Subscribe, click the bell icon, and let me know in the comments below. And if you really love Final Fantasy 13, I mean really love Final Fantasy 13, be sure to become a lessee of our Facebook group, Ultima, Square Enix plus JRPGs. We're not gonna destroy Cocoon, we're just gonna give it a nice little tap. Link in the description below.